Am I black or white? Am I straight? Okay. Controversy. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday, and we gotta get to the sh** today, don't we? All the drama for your mama. But we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna point fingers where the fingers need pointing. We're gonna relax where the relaxing needs relaxing. Let me sip my tea for a second. It's not tea, it's coffee. Cause I'm a manly man. No, it's got a ton of creamer in it, seriously. All right, let's get to it. Couple house cleaning things. First of all, light of freedom, justice of freedom, freedom of justice, light of justice. Look, it was too close to July 4th. I made a mistake there. What are you gonna do? I was in my freedom bag. You gotta relax. Ah! I'm actually really tired and don't feel like doing this, honestly, but it needs to be done. I'm, uh, let me talk about a couple other things real quick. The hands are for shaking hands. I was told that in the comments plenty of times. The hands for the light of justice, freedom of justice, light of freedom, freedom of light is for the shaking hands with him and Ultra Magnus. Uh, a lot of you have commented on the paint on my fingers. Uh, I'm not sure if you're new to the channel. If you are, welcome. Uh, I do a lot of dial work. Like, I do dioramas. I'm working on a Transformers one, and I actually just finished it this morning. The making of and the build along will be on Patreon in September and October at least, possibly November as well. And then a kind of overview of it will be on this channel, but that won't be really a how-to. It'll be more of a commentary on the process. But I'm working on a diorama. I'm also working on a custom figure, my first custom figure. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of touch and go at the moment, but I'll show it to you when it's done for what it's worth. Today's a big day. A lot of TFCon stuff going down today, and I'm going to tell you, it needs to go down today. If it doesn't go down today, it's going to be very telling as to the future of third party in regards to G1 Masterpiece stuff. So I'll get with you on if it teases the court very soon. Perhaps sooner than you think. A lot of Star Wars figures going up on the channel. Glad you guys are digging those. I'm having a lot of fun doing them. I got my first Star Wars discussion, I think, coming next Friday. Force Fridays, probably, am I right? But I'll see how it goes. Should be a good one, though. Uh, and I will have a part four of the Who's Who and Third Party coming soon. It's just obviously this week something came up. It's been a while since something has come up, but something came up. So let's talk about it. Fans, toys, made some waves this week. Now, some people would find that surprising as their sea spray was quite spelty. But they did. And we got a number of things to talk about regarding them. So let's start with the Cyclonus, the quietest. They have a repaint coming. The repaint is having tune color. This has infuriated people. I have two trains of thought about it. I'd like you to get on at this stop, and if you don't like it, you can get off at the next stop and follow me. I'm with you. If this is a problem for you, I totally get it, and I'm with you. If they're going to do redecos, they should be upfront about it. I'm not sure if they're awarded the luxury of being upfront about it, because maybe it won't sell. I don't know. I
It's entirely self-contained. You haven't paid for the combiner pieces yet. This thing has a torso, thighs, I would imagine some sort of arm situation, hands and feet left to go, along with the head and accessories. We haven't paid for it. Did you think you were going to be gifted these things? If you did, welcome to Earth. Here, we give money for goods and services. Money is a concept that we all agree on. It's supposed to be backed by actual value, but it's arguable as to whether it is or not. But it's a society thing that we've kind of agreed upon where we give this in exchange for that and we all sort of hold it at a normalized value in order to buy and obtain other goods and services. So it becomes like a trading system where it used to be perhaps meats or berries or fresh fruits and vegetables or whatever you farmed or perhaps some wool that you were making or even some spices and you would trade those for other goods like spices and wools and different meats and silks perhaps even. But now we have money and money is now this agreed upon sort of form of commerce where you exchange it for what you'd like and then you kind of make a, a point or, or a personal decision as to whether or not something is worth the asking price and then you give the money for the good and service if you think it is and if it's not then, then you don't. But we don't get anything for free do we? Love perhaps. But if I'm the first person to have to tell you this, then one, have your parents PM me because somebody let you down. And two, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we haven't paid for them yet. Oftentimes we pay more for the torso because the torso has more pieces. People mistakenly think that this is because the torso is larger. And while the size may have something to do with the price, it's not necessarily correlated. But I have a video coming very soon about what we're paying for. But back on target. Usually the torso pieces come with the pieces for the combiner. This one didn't and you've got charged more. Why? Because the pieces that most often are used for the combiner didn't come with this because it was all self-contained. So you paid for the pieces that made a trailer, not a combiner. And now you have to pay for the combiner piece. If this is a deal breaker for you, if this goes against your better judgment in regard to value, then once again, like we previously discussed, you have to draw a line in the sand, you have to decide what's of worth to you and then choose accordingly. Therefore, you would sell off your Road King and get one of the other two sets that are coming. You're still paying for the combiner pieces with those two, mind you, but they are priced differently and whatever you think is of worth and value is the right answer. But I am in no way surprised or shocked or, <gasps> pardon me, my buddy Joe has been making me watch a lot of anime recently, so I know that this is shorthand for shock. That's my shock face. I never expected that the hands and feet were going to be given to me for free. Now, perhaps a more tactful way to have done it would have been to include a foot and a hand with all four cars that are coming and up the prices of those five to ten bucks or whatever the case may be and distribute that amongst four pieces. That may have been a more easy on the wallet approach for fans toys to have taken, but it's not the decision that they made and we have to pay for the items we want. That's just how life works. So enough about that. Let's move on to our final thing, which is these uh, reviews of Maverick are starting to pop up, I believe, and images and so forth. And there's been a comparison image of Maverick sitting alongside Zeta. And Zeta holds his own, doesn't he? So of course this raises a few obvious questions that we'll discuss very briefly. And one of those questions is, are the shoulders transform right? Because the biggest issue I have with looking at this in-hand picture of Maverick is the shoulders look a little low. I know from personal experience that sometimes with fan toys when you get them out of the box, it's not how they're intended to be. You have to do a couple steps in order to get it in. It has to do with packaging and so forth. No big deal. Honest mistake and whatever. But that may not be the case. It may just been the angles and the proto shots that we saw that made it look like it was proportioned better. But the proportions are an issue. He's also a bit wider than it seemed. But when you go back and look, you're like, oh my goodness, it is there. It just didn't appeal to me. and It just didn't sh smack me in the face, right? And the back is not as clean. So is this cause for concern? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Mine should be here sometime this month, I would imagine. And I'll be able to make some sort of a opinion on it. But those are the things that stand out to me in looking at the two images side by side. Point blank, period. Shoulders seem a little low. Body seems a little wide. Now the back isn't as clean, but that isn't as much of a big deal for me personally for my collection. But I tried to tell you, those Zeta bots were sculpted pretty well. They were pretty well made. They were pretty well designed. They're not made with the best materials. And there's definitely some QC issues along the way. They're also fairly inexpensive and they build a super solid combiner. I was here telling you that. So then when you see a side by side with something else and you're like, wow, this sculpt is standing up to fans toys, if not better. Yeah, because it was really good. Now, obviously it's not painted to the level of fans toys. And if you look at the sculpted detail, it's not as sharp as the level level of fans toys. And I mean that both in the line work and in the facial structure and all of that. But for what the aerial bots were priced for from Zeta, it was a fantastic set. Definitely worth picking up. But perhaps those sacrifices were made with the Maverick in order to have a combined element, which is a bummer for me because that's not what I want mine to be. But I can't really make a, 
a kind of opinion on that until I have it in hand and never really get a chance to mess with it. Angles in, in a photo can throw off the look of a figure, and I'm not making excuses for it. There's things that stick out to me as issues with it in regard to aesthetics, but I just can't call it for myself until I have it in hand. I've taken pictures of toys that I love, that I'm like, man, this looks amazing. Hot toys in particular, I feel like I have a hard time photographing, but I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm enthralled with this. And then I go to take a picture of it, and I can't get a good angle to give off the vibe and the feeling of how it feels in hand. Sometimes things are tricky that way. Not saying Maverick is that way, but I'm not saying it's not because I don't have it. I'm hoping to soon. But we shouldn't be surprised that Zeta's holding up because Zeta did a really good job. So quick recap. I hate the business practice of unannounced repaints of stuff that definitely strikes a chord with the fandom that they know the fans want and it seems like they're double dipping. I hate it. Be upfront about it. That's all I ask. Second, we're going to have to pay for the combiner pieces at some point. If you didn't see this coming, that's unfortunate. And I don't care what you may have read on a message board. Nobody knows anything anything until the chips are down. These designers, company owners, etc., can tell me whatever they want to tell me in their Facebook posts or their Weibo posts or their TFW posts or whatever the case may be. I don't believe it until it's in hand. Such and such is coming next week. Okay. Are you excited? No. I'll be excited when I get my shipping notice. That's when I know it's legit. So it probably got to a point where they did the checks and balances on it. It was like, no, we got to we gotta charge for this. Okay, cool. That's what I want. So charge me for it. I'm good with that. I'm good with paying for what I want. As far as Maverick and Zeta go, I gotta get it in hand before I really make a judgment call on it. The fact that Zeta stands up to it aesthetically doesn't surprise me. I'm sure the fans' toys will be built better. I'm also sure the engineering will be more frustrating. I'm sure it'll be painted better, etc., etc. The fact that Zeta is holding up to it in terms of aesthetics doesn't surprise me because Zeta did a knockout job in a terrific combiner. So it should hold up. If it already was demolished, that'd be a real bummer. So I hope that helps. The third party panel this weekend is going to be very telling. We'll be back soon to talk about it. Also, I'm not wearing any pants. That's a fact. That's my underwear. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.